the weepy or the whoopy, whoopy. And then one battery, which is the, okay. And then let's take this guy away. And now we see, ooh ooh. Who said this camera was light? Seriously? Who said this camera was light? I mean, it's not heavy, but it's not light. Like, it's just funny. It feels, it, it feels like it's metal, but it's plastic. This is not bad. People have said so much trash about it. It's, it's like, you know, I'm preparing for the worst and then I'm not getting the worst. Actually, it feels good. It feels like a weapon though, like it's hard, it's rigid. All right, welcome guys. Today we're talking about the Black Magic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. And we wanna know, after one year of use, is it worth it? Is it all that? Is it still relevant? Do I love it? Do I recommend it? All that and more, <laughs> coming up. All right, welcome back. If you're here for the first time, I will appreciate if you, you know, subscribe and join the family. Um, here we do music, movies, tech reviews, short films, you know, pretty much it's, a, it's just about my journey to the cinemas and um, with all the dreams of Hollywood production someday, you know, but like I always say, room wasn't built in a day, so for now I practice on YouTube and I do um, hope to have like minds here, uh, filmmakers or aspiring filmmakers who who uh, have a dream and hopefully we all escort one another to the to that place, okay? So um, that's all this channel is about. You're gonna see me on my journey, um, making mistakes, learning, sharing, and improving. That's the most important thing. So um, yeah, uh, always feedback is always appreciated on this channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and um, let's get it on. Black Magic came with the with with this 4K like a storm. It's because of the um, 4K and raw internally that this camera can do. Plus the price. The price came in at a thousand uh, three hundred back then, and it was out of stock when I wanted to buy. Everybody was like back ordering and pre-ordering and stuff like that. Uh, but I found one on Amazon and it went for two thousand bucks. And that's the one we have in the house today. I have no regrets. I bought mine for two grand and I still have no regrets because this camera virtually changed my life. Let me, let, let's talk, let's talk. If you haven't seen my documentary, like uh, my short documentary, pretty much my background in a summary and my journey to the US and all that, what I was into, it will kind of give you an idea where I'm coming from. I was reluctant to get commercial job. Some of my Nigerian friends who knew me from back home, when they come to the States, they are like, you know, we should do something, let's shoot a video or stuff like that. I'm like, nah, I'm not, I'm not into that. I'm just chilling. You know, all the necessary excuses, you know, and, um, but I've, my aim was go to film school, come out and start doing stuff, not, not until after that. No distraction, I'm not gonna distract myself. I'm just gonna go ahead and do YouTube videos. But then this black magic dropped. The 4K dropped and I looked at the price. I was like, oh man, how could, how could I just sit down and let this pass like, you know, it, it was just like, why? Why would this camera come at this time? Why? What? what it, it has to be for a purpose. I guess I just have to get it. But 
as soon as the camera came, I could not resist the desire to create. I could not, ju I just wanted to like, you know, utilize the camera, get some things going and stuff like that. So the next time I got a call like, hey, I'm in town, what can we do? This time I was like, oh yeah, let's get it. And that's it. As soon as I accepted that one, another one came and another one came, talk shows. And then the corporate work started coming, you know, it was just like that. Later did I know that it was time to start, you know, so, but when the black magic came, it was like, bam, serious. Every time I shot raw, back in the days, it was rented cameras, the reds and stuff like that. And I wasn't even the one holding the cameras. I would direct the guys because I didn't, own one, I didn't know how to operate one for a good paying client, for um, special clients. <laughs> um, I will rent the red. The bottom line is, this was the actually the first camera, first raw shooting camera that I owned. It shot came at the right time and I was so glad, I am so glad I, I still have it. The, the, the experience with the Blackmagic camera, it's unbeatable. I have never been so comfortable with any camera ever. The, the menu system was awesome. Uh, the ease of use was just there, like, is this really a cinema camera? You can easily get started in 10 to 15 minutes. You already know what you're doing. The picture quality is insane. A dynamic range of 13 stops. It has the dual ISO of uh, 400 and 3200. So once you know those things, little things, you are well on your way with this camera. Well, over the year, I have come through a couple of rigging solutions and I've, I won't go into all that. I'll say, see my videos. I have a playlist of all these um, rigs and probably you could you could choose um, what's comfortable for you if you're trying to get into uh, the system. But basically from the large rig, you know, shoulder rig to um, red kind of uh, option, kind of uh, run and gun style, you could do it all. Personally, I really like rigging up my cameras. Just going out with the feeling like I'm ready. Everything is on board. I've got a V, VMAT battery with me. I have enough power. The Mac box is on. All my, you know, SSDs are attached. As I'm here, I'm ready. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. That It gives me that kind of confidence that I'm equipped, you know, but oftentimes we get into places we, you know, there's, there's always problems every now and then about you know what are you doing uh you can't record here these are not allowed or stuff like that over the period of time i've used it i've come to like you know what if i keep f facing all these problems why don't i have a compact solution i went with the full cage for the small rig and then half cage for tilter um, I also went with the tilter power solution in fact i have a couple of them um maybe all of them side power handle with the follow focus i got the tita nano um i got uh, the vima uh, holder like underneath the car directly underneath the camera which makes it a little bit heavy but in a portable size basically just to have options what i'm really setting up for my, my major setup now is this with the follow focus setup so I can pull up, pull from the handle while holding the camera. So natural, it's just like while I'm holding it, I pull, it's just so smooth. Sometimes I even, when I have it in front of me, you know, getting shot, I can, I can just right there while looking at the screen, mounted as a monitor mounted, I can just, you know, focus you know, cause it's right there in front. And I found that to the best, to be the best solution so far in terms of uh, ease of use, okay? So the tilter cage really is working for me right now and um, it's rocking my world. And it just came to complement the Blackmagic pocket camera. All these tools have been making me love the camera even more. Let's talk about lenses for this camera. 
there is a wide range. It's like endless and lenses still keep coming, you know, from the um, micro four thirds to EF. You got adapters that can, you know, make you reach out to all these uh, FD lenses. Okay, now when I started lenses, I wanted to go cheap. Definitely, I was looking out for cheap options to start with. The first lens I picked was the SLR Magic. Now the SLR Magic was my first lens um, it was like 139 and I bought it 139 from B&H and, &H. and um, it was I think I, I think I made a good choice because uh, to date I, it's still a good lens um, 8 millimeters f4 but you know it was very helpful I, I mean I've used it a couple of times on some die-hard situations you know it's like the camera enhances the <laughs> the quality of the of the lens kind of it's there's that magic that goes on internally um the lens is on its own it's okay but you know with the pairing with the black magic you know took it to the next level after that i got the fd i got into fd lenses uh canon fds and for that i bought the metabone speed booster i fell in love with the canon fd fd lenses the vintage lenses. My favorite FD lenses was the, the 70 to 200 uh, macro f4. But you know the shots are so crisp that you wouldn't even think that it's f4 because the camera just makes pairs with any lens that is good. The camera makes any lens better. Bottom line, what I'm telling you is that you can start on a budget, you can go with the Canon FD lenses. You don't even have to buy a Metabons Speed Booster if you don't want to. Um, you can just get the Canon FD lenses on the camera just with a cheap adapter, which is like 15 to 20 bucks. That's, that's an easy way to go. So you can start from that. If you know you want to do film, don't even test out, get the camera and start practicing. Because I, I didn't really plan for the camera. So when it came, I had to go the cheap route first. And the cheap route turned out really good. And I still use the cheap route to date, only I just add to it. So now I got the Mikey or the Mickey, um, the Mickey set. I've got the 50, 25 and 16. When the 6K came out, I really didn't see the need. I mean, I was excited about it. I would love to. If I hadn't gotten the 4K, I would definitely go for the 6K. That's what I said in one of my videos. If I do buy the 6K, I will add it to the 4K and not let the 4K go because I know I need the 4K. I know it's just uh, limitless what I can do. I can still adapt the same lenses that they do, but they can adapt my lenses. If you're thinking about this camera, I think you will love it, especially with the Blackmagic team, design team. The upgrades and updates from Blackmagic is like no other company I have ever seen. They update like every month. Something is happening. If it's not on my camera, it's on the other camera. If it's not on that camera, it's on the um, uh, DaVinci Resolve. Oh, I didn't tell you, DaVinci Resolve comes alongside your camera for free in other words you really are paying about a thousand bucks for your camera because the the davinci resolve you get along with it is is 300 bucks now when i got my camera um i was new to davinci resolve and the laptop i used today um which is super fast now wasn't here then so i was like i i shot I did shoot in RAW, I shot in RAW, I shot it in ProRes, and I shot in HD. I went out and recorded on heavy sunlight, you know, I didn't bother, I wanted it to be blown out, I wanted to see how well we could retain. Nobody shoots like that, but the point is, I tried it, and I did, I was able to recover some of the, um, uh, dynamic range back. I just want to tell you how fantastic it is, how I'm still excited after one year, how I I think it's an ID camera if you're just looking to start off filmmaking. You don't know nothing about film. 
but you have a film dream to go into filmmaking, get this camera. If you have a dream to do, go into a documentary someday, get this camera. Any kind of commercial work someday, get this camera. You know, because it will take you there to train you. Uh, it will make you grow. Whatever the black magic is about, <laughs> there's some magic in there. I'm happy with the camera, I'm happy with the product, and I'm happy with the company because of their updates. As I speak to you now, I got, you know, while I'm recording this, I got, I found a, um, a post. Tomorrow they are coming up with um, updates on their camera. They call it update, but I have a feeling that a new camera is going to be announced. I haven't started using anamorphic mode. I didn't plan for that. I got the camera and months later, they updated it and now I have anamorphic mode. I know I have to start getting lenses and all that, but I'm trying to take it easy. Trigger was the first app I started with and it's quite good, but basic record, um, stop, basically, you know, but uh, Blackmagic made theirs and for free, there are two two versions. That, let me turn this on. We could connect to the camera. And then connect, click connect. Hit the camera, click connect. Now it's connecting. And here we go. So you have a couple of things. It's only for iPad though. Um, you can't have it on the on your iPhone. So now we see um, our Kevin reading on the camera as it is right now. Sync, um, ISO, um, shutter speed, everything. You can control all that. You see the time left, how many cards are there. 81 minutes on the SSD and 35 on the CFAS card, which is a lot more elaborate. For the paid one, there's a 499 or something like that, uh, version two. All you need is uh, one of these and you could do all that, control your camera as well, okay? For $4.99, I think. I think that's a cheaper buy. Oh. Um, free world, whatever um, monitor decide to use, put it on, doesn't have to record, just something to show your, you know, um, exposure, readings and stuff like that. It's been a pleasure talking with you guys. Uh, don't forget to comment, feel free to send your feedback, questions. That's been my one year review of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. Thank you guys for watching like subscribe comment and if you did that i'll see you in the next video bye we'll do a proper proper shot of it um but i need to go take my nap now i've done the unboxing and i uh, just couldn't wait to to see this guy and make sure everything was okay we got a lens for it here, but I'll test it in the morning. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next. Where is the next what? Yeah, in the morning. Okay, let's let's continue in the morning. I gotta I I really gotta go take my nap.